A pretty poor job of discussing the predicament that we're in in this country. You would, you might not even know the difference if you came out of a coma right now. You might not know the difference between 1991 and where we are now, based on the behavior of people in America. We have oil over $125 a barrel. One of the things I want to do is give you an update on some of the oil issues that are uh, new plot lines to the oil story that have developed in the last 24 months or so, you know, really since the long emergency was published. I, I discussed the whole peak oil uh, idea and, and mostly what, not just the peak oil idea per se, because that's pretty easy to understand, but its implications for how we live in this country. There have been some new wrinkles since then. One of the things we're beginning to understand lately is what's being called the oil export crisis story. And what has developed is that we, we now understand, in terms of the numbers, that the countries that export oil to us, the importers, are seeing their export rates go down at a much steeper rate than their depletion rates. And so, if you take, for example, the, the big five exporters in the world, which are Saudi Arabia, Russia, Norway, Iran, and the United Arab Emirates, and actually throw in number six, Mexico. Their export rates are going down, and their declines in exports are accelerating because they're using more of their own oil. Their populations are still growing, they're buying more cars, they're building more freeways and skyscrapers, and in the case of Saudi Arabia, they're building the world's largest aluminum smelter, so that, because there's an idea that they're going to need an economy beyond the oil economy. They're also building petrochemical plants so they can actually process their own oil and send it out as a value-added product. Uh, and all this is taking a lot of energy. The, the numbers that have come in is that year over year, the combined exports of some of these countries has gone down enormously. Now, two of the biggies are Venezuela and Mexico. Net exports have gone down 32%. Mexico is our number three source of the imports, and number four is Venezuela. So they're able to get a lot less oil to the United States. Mexico is probably the poster child for the oil export problem. Uh, Mexico's production largely comes from a single super giant oil field that was one of the last great finds of the oil era, called the Cantarell oil field, the second largest one ever found. It was found in the 1970s, and it was drilled and exploited with the latest and greatest technology, which actually introduces another theme to the story, which is the diminishing returns of technology, something we don't pay attention to at all, and it's terribly important. It shows up in some strange places, uh, especially in the latest and greatest technology of the oil industry. Because the Cantorell field was found so late in the game, it was drilled uh, and has been produced with the best new technology that there is, which includes horizontal drilling instead of vertical, they can go horizontal, and injecting things like nitrogen and seawater into the rock strata to push the oil out, all kinds of tricks that they've learned. And the unanticipated consequence of that was that it only allowed us to drain these oil fields more efficiently. Big problem. You know, the, exactly the same thing happened in the North Sea, where, you know, the North Sea oil fields were found relatively late in the game. They were drained very, very efficiently so that the United Kingdom, which owns half of the UK, uh, half of the North Sea oil fields, uh, has gone from their all-time production peak in 1999 to being net energy importers in 2005 in just a, you know, a few short years. That's how steeply they're, de they're declining. So Mexico uh, is the poster child. The, the 
Cantor L oil field is now depleting at a rate of a minimum of 15% a year. And in fact, Pemex, the National Oil Company of Mexico, reported their declines in 2007 to be actually 17%. And if you do the math, it's very easy to see that they're going to be out of the exporting business relatively soon. And as that occurs, they're going to be out of the exporting business to the United States, meaning we're going to lose our third greatest source of imports.